All right, hello team, how are you guys doing? I just wanted to make a little video of me and our boys. Just showing some things that uh, you can work on with your boys throughout the week and during the season. Um, I sent an email out to everyone saying that last year when we had our oldest son Tate in uh, football, I probably could have done more before the season and then throughout the season just to work with him, make sure he had fun and was picking up some of the basics of flag football. So I just wanted to make a video um, and just show you guys some drills, just some fun things we do with the boys that they have fun at home with and that they can work on throughout the week. Okay, so one of the first things you work on with your uh, boys is hiking the football. It's really important that, you, that the little kids learn how to hike the ball fast because when the ball moves, uh, the defense can start. So a lot of little kids will have a tendency to hike the ball really slow. So you just work with them, have them be the center because they're all going to probably take turns hiking the ball and be in the center. And you just get you tell them to hike it fast, okay, Kenner? Yeah. Down, set, hut. And you just have them do that a few times, and that one's usually pretty easy to pick up. Down, set, hut. You want to hike it fast like that. And then you let them take turns being the quarterback where you hike it to them so they can, they can start learning how to be quarterbacks. Stay so down, set, hut. Down, set, hut. Do it again. So one of the hardest things for these little guys when they first start playing is when they're running, um, it's hard for them to think about running as hard as they can the whole time, especially when someone's up there trying to pull their flag. So if Tate had the ball and he was running, at the, their natural tendency is for, for them to stop running as soon as someone comes up to pull their flag. So we try to teach them to keep running the whole time as fast as they can until they hear the whistle. So a lot of times, if Tate was running the football and I'm a little kid and I come up here and I grab his flag... The minute I touch it, or if he thinks I pulled it, he'll stop running. So to get him to keep running the whole time until they hear the, hear the whistle, we play a game with our kids. It's really fun. We do it with the whole family. It's called Shark, and we'll play this at practice. So here, Tate, let's show them how to play Shark. I know so, how. I already know how to play Shark. Okay, come on, Tanner. You can play too. Okay. So Tate and Tanner are going to try and run from one end of the field to the other, and I'm the Shark, and I try and take their flag. Okay? And so they, they're supposed, they want to run as hard and as fast as they can. And I run next to them sometimes, and I, I try and pull their flag, or I act like I'm going to pull their flag, and see if they'll keep running. And sometimes I even pull my own flag, and it makes the sound uh, that I've pulled theirs, and I try and trick them to see if they'll stop running. Okay? Ivy's our secret weapon this year on the flag football team. Down. Set. Hut. Good job, though. You kept running until I pulled your flag. Okay, one of the next things that's really hard um, is when these guys are on defense and they have to pull a flag. So when they're first starting to play flag football, sometimes they're a little timid to run up and pull someone's flag and be aggressive. And a lot of times they'll run up to someone and then they'll kind of run alongside of them and it'll take them a really long time to reach out to pull the flag or they'll kind of they'll reach out really soft and slow and if they think they pull the flag but they don't, they stop running. So just teach them to be aggressive and not afraid to pull someone's flag. So we'll play shark, but I'll be the runner and let these guys practice just pulling my flag. And by the way, you can get these flags at like Dick's Sporting Goods or I think Walmart or you can just use long socks. So, Okay, you guys ready to be sharks? Yeah. The other thing, um, when they first start learning how to run with the football, again, it's their tendency to kind of do everything a little bit slow and a little bit cautious. So if Tate's the quarterback, go ahead and say, go ahead and hand it off to me, Tate. A lot of little kids will kind of take off really slow or even walk, or they'll wait for the quarterback to come to them. And once they get the football, then they take off running. And it's so much better if they can take off running full speed towards the football and when they grab it they're already running full speed so here we'll show you with Tate I'll hand it off to him and he'll be the running back okay you ready yeah. down set hut and then just you, you can hand it off to him and just practice them running full speed like that a lot of little kids can score a lot of touchdowns if they just run full speed as soon as they uh, okay come on Tanner your turn okay run full speed okay 
down, set, up. Okay, the other thing that's important is uh, when you're handing the ball off to your boys, and I'll be the first to say, none of your boys have to do any of this perfect, but these are just things that you want to work on, you can. But when you're handing the ball off to your boys, depending on the side that you hand it off to them, whether it's the left side the, or the right side, depends on which hand they put up in the air first. So Tate, if I hand it on this side, which arm goes up? No. Nope. Remember, whatever arm is closest to me always goes up, right? But if I hand it to you on this side, yep, this side, so that way when they're running full speed, they can take the hand off from you. Okay, uh, once you start to hand it off to them and they're comfortable running with the ball, then it's fun for them to play like one-on-one. -on -one. They love playing one-on-one, -on -one, where maybe the mom is on, mom's the quarterback handing it off, and then dad's on defense. So it's really good for them to have to really learn how to run fast to get the ball, and then take off running full speed, and learn how to run against someone that's on defense, and not slow down when someone tries to pull their flag. So we'll, <laughs> we'll do so one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, Tanner, come out here and be on defense. Okay. This is just fun for them, most of them. Down, set, hut. Oh, good job. Okay, Tanner, don't stop running.